All right, let's talk about this energy conversion efficiencies. It's kind of big deal because um, so far I haven't really gone there. And I assumed everything efficiency is kind of like one, right? No, no loss, but that's not quite realistic, okay? But in general terms, forget the thermodynamics, but in general, this is what I'm interested in. I have an output that I am interested in, right? And this is kind of key, output that I'm interested in. It doesn't have to be, you know, like this. Let's say that there's five different outputs. I measured the one that I am interested in, okay? Divided by, basically, the input that I need to put in to obtain that particular output. We kind of knew that before you, you know, uh, listened to me about this one, right? But the real question I want to give you is, how about an efficiency um, of a thermodynamic cycle? Okay, and sometimes we use this as a measure of a performance. It indicates the performance of a thermodynamic cycle. Okay, and I talked about this many, many times, but I indicate this. Let's say that I go from state one to two, then I go from state two to three, then I, I go back exactly where I end up with. This is called a cycle, right? Because um, like let's say call three to four, but the four or one, one are at the same point. Okay, so this is called a cycle and my goal is to obtain the efficiency of this particular one. And I want to even further more specific and I want to take something that we do a lot. It's called heat engine. And this is the internal combustion engines, for instance, as an example of a heat engine. And we also can look at the steam power plant. And today what I want to do is I want to look at the steam power plant. So we are, uh, you know, kind of getting to draw some uh, cycles. Okay, and typically let's do this. I have a, I have a boiler. Okay, as the name uh, boiler, forget the ER, but boil, so it boils, it's, you know, so this can be, let's say that I have an energy source over here, right, this can be a furnace, right, I'm boiling something, I'm adding energy um, in the form of a heat, you know, like Q in for this particular case. And then I can go over here to a, basically something called a turbine, okay, and the turbine will convert this um, heated, superheated uh, fluid that I'm working with as a power output and then I will have go to the condenser. I don't want to talk a lot about these individual components because I will in more detail but I want you to uh, have a sense of it. Condenser E and it will be a Q out from here. Okay, this will be the energy sink. I can dump this to the atmosphere as an example and then I will connect this to a pump and the pump is going to pump the water or whatever the fluid that I'm working with into here. So this will be the direction of this. And you can see what's going on over here. This is the pump. So I, let's say I start here. You can start anywhere you want, right? At the end of the day, because you start, like I said, one to two. If you can start two, right? Two to three, three to one, one to two. So at the end, you end up with the same state. So let's say you start here. We go down like that, condenser, pump, etc. We end up with it. Um, so here's the thing. In order for me to operate the pump, I need to give some power to it, right? So you know that if you buy a pump, you plug into the electricity, right? So there are two options for that in, in, in this kind of um, steam power plant. And most common one is actually the turbine generates so much power that I can simply like hook this up over to here, right? So I can just go ahead and pump, you know, hook this up to here. So I can use some of the energy uh, that I generate and I use it to pump, to use as a pump power, right? But sometimes uh, I don't do it. Sometimes what I do is I in input another energy and I'm going to call this W in from another source, like I said, electrical energy. Okay. So the question is, how do I determine the thermal efficiency of this one? Okay. And I'm looking at it, the really the energy output of a steam power plant is how much energy I generate. Okay. But in order to operate that, I need to look at, uh, like I mentioned in the previous case, where I connect the sum, let's say that I get 100. Uh, megawatts of power right out of this but maybe I need to operate I need to use like one uh, kilowatts to run the pump it's more than that but I'm giving an example okay so I need to subtract that so in this particular domain what I will obtain is this is gonna be W out minus W in this will be really my desired arc. my goal is to generate as much power or work as I can okay but in order to obtain that I need to have some kind of an input over here and that will be the input Q in. Okay, so this will be my uh, uh, efficiency, thermal efficiency of a cycle. Okay, 
Um, one thing to highlight over here is this thermal efficiency that I'm going to obtain is going to range from 1% to 100%. And the steam power plants, if you look at it, typically they operate from you know 35 to 55% efficiency, something like that. Okay, depends. Um, okay, so this is the way that I uh, define this particular heat engine efficiency. There are other ones as well. So this is, uh, let's say that I'm looking at a, uh, uh, let's call this motor efficiency. And this will be related to, and you know, I'm thinking of more like a electrical, uh, uh, like the motor of the Tesla, as an example, or a previous plug-in or previous itself when it's driving in the, um, you know, electric uh, vehicle mode. Okay, so this efficiency of this is going to be defined by this. So think about like an uh, engine, right? The goal is to convert the electrical input from the battery to the mechanical and output, right? The mechanical output is, is gonna be in the form of a shaft power, right? So I can turn the wheels, so I can get going. So in this particular case, I'm gonna have a mechanical uh, work that I obtain, and typically this will be in the shaft in, in terms of a, a car, right? And then I need to put in, you know, from the battery, the battery is supplying the, the power to, come, to make this happen, the motor, right? The inside, uh, in, input is the electrical, I can see here. See, input is the electrical, up is the shaft power for this particular case. Okay. What is interesting is, you know, again, going with the same uh, mentality as this. So, a generator is the inverse of the motor. And what the typically Prius or, or Tesla does is uh, when you step on the brake, they turn it backwards. So, what happens is the shaft power that you're having, you're, you're slowing down. Right, you can convert this to electrical energy, and you can use it to charge to the battery. Okay, and sometimes this is very significant. Okay, uh, but on an energy gener generator, you know, if the power went out, is out, so what I will do is I will obtain a uh, generator um, um, uh, to to power my my house. Right, so now the output will be the electrical energy. This is what I'm interested in. Right, in order to charge the battery or to supply power to my house. Right, but the the input will be the now this time of a mechanical for a car it will be the shaft power as an example okay but one thing i want to highlight is you know i mentioned the, the the efficiency of these kind of things is 35 percent to 55 give or take but these are much more efficient okay in reality i did it in uh, you know module 1.1 i showed that in uh, like a very basic uh, and i get the tesla efficiency is 85 percent that is unheard of for this kind of systems okay same thing with generator so one thing before I forget to say is, you know, these are uh, just uh, in terms of the units, right? These are going to be joules or uh, BTU, right? But I don't have to have it, so I can write this as in terms of W dot divided by W dot sign, for instance, in this one, electrical versus mechanical, right? So what I mean is, now we can write this in joule per second or watts or BTU per hour too, if that's what I want. At the end of the day, this is non-dimensional. Or you can, you can also write in the lower case W divided by W electrical to mechanical as well. 